Hi, this is Farhan for Stuff Magazine India and I'd like to welcome you all to 2014's first flagship smartphone, the HTC One M8. The M in its name stands for metal, while the 8 signifies that this is HTC's 8th generation metal device. It's a beautifully crafted handset, definitely rivals the iPhone 5S and is also the most beautiful Android handset to date. HTC's mantra with this device is more everything, which is why you get more screen, more speaker, more metal, more processing power, and more smartphone. Let's take a closer look, shall we? The new HTC One has a bigger 5-inch display over the older model's 4.7-inch display. It still retains the full HD resolution, but there is no loss in sharpness whatsoever. It's no finger-stretching giant, but the extra screen space is a welcome change. In comparison to the original one, the M8's PPI or pixel density has dropped from 468 to 441. In general use, that's an imperceptible loss, and text and icons are very sharp indeed. Colors too are satisfyingly vibrant but never overcooked, and off-axis viewing is very impressive. Compare an HD video side by side and there is a marginal loss in sharpness compared to the original one. The palette leans just a little towards the green side too, but neither of these traits are noticeable. What is immediately noticeable to anyone with eyes is that extra display space, which makes a far bigger difference than either of those minor flaws. Be in no doubt, this is a really beautiful screen. The M8 has the same 4.1-inch ultra-pixel sensor as its predecessor. But if you notice, it also has an additional depth sensor to create what the company calls a duo camera. And the duo camera is quite a thing. It lets you take your picture, select the U-Focus option and tap a point on screen that becomes the focus point with all-round blurring in a beautiful bokeh effect. You also get gimmicky features such as Dimension Plus, which essentially 3 d your picture by using the depth sensor to work out the edges of a selected object. You can then use the phone's motion sensors to alter the angles. HTC and Beats have parted company, but that doesn't mean the new one isn't serious about sound. On the contrary, the Boom Sound stereo speakers at the top and bottom are 25% louder than those on the previous one. In fairness, the speakers do also sound better than before, producing clearer voices from YouTube videos and powerful audio from your music library. The M8 brings with it the new version of HTC Sense, Sense 6.0. The sixth sense does make Blinkfeed even more awesome. Chucking more of everything at your flagship phone seems an all too easy way to get yourself to the top. But in HTC's defense, they've done a careful balancing act with the M8. Soon we'll see rivals from LG and Sony take on the M8. But will they actually perform better? And will they also be nice to hold and live with? That's far less certain. For the price of Rs 49,900, the HTC One M8 is a lot of smartphone for your money.